Hello, this is Coach Tyson, the Sundance Ski Team, uh, making this video for the ticket office and the parents of the Sundance Ski Team uh, to answer the frequently asked questions that we get um, when signing up for the team and also at the beginning of the year. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions after this. Uh, most of you should have my number. If not, check your emails. Uh, it's always at the bottom of it. First question, uh, what team do I sign up for? This is the common question. We have three different options this year. This is what they're called. Um, but basically all it means is that you're signing up for a certain amount of training days per week. So Alpha, you have four days a week. Omega is three days a week. And Devo is two days a week. That's really all that means. You can be um, U14, U16, and still do the Devo program. Uh, but that does not mean that you're doing the YSL races, right? So all that means is that you train every Saturday and one of the weekdays, which is Wednesday night, Thursday, or Friday afternoons. And then Friday nights from 5 to 7 p.m. is only for uh, athletes 6 to 9 years old. Um, Omega, same deal. You can be any age and sign up for it. Alpha, same thing. You can have you can have a U10 sign up for the Alpha team if they're willing, dedicated to skiing four days a week. And uh, but we do have to have a coach approval for uh, younger athletes for that, just to make sure that they're going to be okay and uh, that we have a, a right group for for them to ski with. Um, so that's that. Level number two. What level of skier do we accept on the ski team? Uh, Basically, we have two requirements for that. So number one is that they can load the lift solo. Number two is that they are able to make parallel turns on groomed, blue groomed runs or moderate groomed runs. Next year, we're going to up that a little bit as we continue to grow um, and as we continue to reach our goals of being a uh, more competitive ski team. Um, number three, obviously, they got to be dedicated and willing to work hard and uh, ready to learn from the coaches and fellow athletes. So, something else to think about with that. Question number three. List of forms to sign and fill out. This is mostly for the ticket office. Um, but parents, just so you're aware, it's good to bring your athletes up with you when you're doing this so you can get your season pass and uh, everyone can understand what, what you're signing. Uh, there's a Sundance waiver or release form. Code of conduct for the ski team that you're agreeing to. There'll be a copy of it to read up there at the ticket office. Season pass agreement and the concussion policy for the ski team. Fourth question, USSA number. It is not um, required at the time of signing up, but it is required to be on the team. You have to have a USSA number uh, and current with them for this year in order to train and in order to race. Without that number, you can't train with us, you can't race with us. 30 seconds. If you don't know how to, uh, to get that number, there's another video that I created a while ago that shows you exactly how to go through the process of getting signed up. If you didn't get that, let me know, and uh, we can send it out to you again, or it's on my YouTube. Uh, number five, question number five. We'll have lots of questions about the newly formed Sundance Mountain Sports Education Foundation, SMSCF. It's a nonprofit that was just created to help uh, raise funds for the ski team to, uh, to boost it and get more um, equipment, more coaching opportunities, and more athlete opportunities um, through scholarships and whatnot. So, parents do have the option of donating to the uh, the, the Education Foundation um, and then applying for a scholarship that their athlete can then um, be chosen for to pay their team fees with. Um, a little bit complicated, but uh, for those looking for some tax help, then that's a great way to do it. Or also to help us raise funds um, to help support the team. So, more questions about that, um, please direct those to either myself or to Daniel Hemmer, uh, the president of the foundation, and uh, we can get those answered. Um, that's not, those are not questions for the ticket office. Um, they are just
just going to accept money from the foundation um, for those that are applying for scholarships. Uh, other than that, I think that is about it. Oh, last thing I forgot, that you've got to be um, age accepted. Uh, they have to be six years old by December 31st of this year, obviously, uh, in order to be on the team. And we can accept any age up to 18. Uh, however, we like to we'll talk to the athletes, of course, first. So take it off this if you have any questions or if, if new members are inquiring about the team and they have not talked to me yet, please direct them to me first. Um, same goes with, with all the parents that are referring new members to us. Uh, please have them talk to myself or um, Kasha, uh, Coach Kasha. Either one of us will be able to answer the questions. So um, that is it. Please let me know if you have questions and hope to see you on the hill.